hold the milled IPS Emacs CAD restoration and grind down the attachment point. Consult the flow chart entitled Recommended Grinding Tools for Glass Ceramics to select the most appropriate grinding instrument. Use low RPMs and light pressure to grind the attachment point. Check the proximal contacts with articulating paper. If any adjustments of shape are required, these should be made in the pre-crystallized blue state. The restoration margins should also be adjusted if necessary. Check the occlusion and articulation and make any adjustments if needed. Surface grind the entire occlusal surface and smooth out the structure created by the CAD CAM procedure. Make sure to maintain the minimal thickness. Clean the restoration before you continue with the next step. Either blast with a steam jet or use ultrasound in a water bath. Next, select the largest possible IPS Emacs CAD crystallization pin. Fill the inside of the crown with IPS object fix putty or flow. Close the syringe immediately after use. This prevents the material from drying out. Press the IPS Emacs CAD crystallization pin deeply into the auxiliary firing paste. Smooth out displaced IPS object fix putty or flow with a plastic spatula from the margin towards the support pin so that the pin is secured in the paste and the crown margin is supported. Wipe away any contamination on the outer restoration surface with a water moistened brush and then dry the surface. If needed, dilute the IPS Emacs CAD crystal shades and stains with some IPS Emacs CAD crystal glaze liquid and then apply them thinly on the restoration. Before you apply the IPS Emacs CAD crystal glaze spray, vigorously shake the can until the mixing ball moves freely within the container. Spray the glaze spray at a distance of approximately 10 centimeters directly on the unfired stains. Rotate the restoration to achieve an even layer. Shake the spray can between individual bursts. Allow the glaze to dry briefly until a whitish coating is visible. If the glaze layer looks irregular, spray the restoration again with glaze spray. Position the crown on the IPS Emacs CAD Speed Crystallization Tray. Place the tray in the firing chamber and fire the crown using the pre-installed firing program. When the acoustic signal sounds at the end of the program, remove the IPS Emacs CAD Speed Crystallization Tray. Allow the crown to cool to room temperature in a draft-free place. Do not touch the hot object with metal tongs. Do not blast or quench the hot restoration. Remove the crown from the pin once it is cooled down. Clean the restoration with a steam jet or with ultrasound in a water bath. Finally, check the fit of the restoration and then seat the crown.